In this lecture, we're going to learn how to create the backend for the React application. We all know how to create the MongoDB Atlas database in the previous lecture. Now, in this lecture, we're going to first create the backend for the React application and then we're going to connect the MongoDB database to the backend. Let me first show you how you can create the backend for the React application. Every application needs a backend to manage data. React is a client side application and MongoDB is used in a backend. To connect MongoDB with React, we need to first create the backend server so we can communicate with front and back. To create backend, we can use Express.js library. Express.js is a primarily used to provide server side logic. If you don't know about what is Express, I have a complete course on it. Check out the note playlist in the description of this video to understand how to create the Express application. Now, let me show you how you can create the backend of the React application. I'm going to create a dedicated folder for that. Inside this one series, I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to name it server. If you want, you can choose any name to this folder. That's upon you. Inside this server folder, I'm going to just initialize this folder as an npm package. So we can install different modules inside this backend application. So to initialize this server folder as npm package, I'm going to open my terminal and let me first enter into the server folder. So I'm going to say here cd server and here I'm going to say npm init. This command will initialize the server as a node package. And just out of that, I'm going to say here hyphen y. And I'm going to just press enter. You will have the output something like this. And inside your server, you will have the package.json file. This file is going to initialize your server as npm package. Now, once I create my package.json file inside this server, I'm going to install few modules. So I'm going to say here npm node package manager. Then I'm going to specify here i for install. And then I'm going to install first express application. So I'm going to say here express. Along with that, I'm going to install nodemon module. Nodemon is a tool that helps us to develop Node.js based application by automatically restarting the node application when the file changes. So here, I'm going to press enter and install both these modules inside my backend project. So inside this server, I'm going to install both these modules. You can notice here, inside these node modules, I'm going to have both these packages. Let me just clear the screen, close this terminal, and here inside this server, I'm going to create a new file and name this file server.js. That's upon you, you can specify any name to this file. Creating express server is super easy. You just need to first require the express module. So you just need to first say here constant express is equal to and then here you need to require the express module inside this parenthesis. So you need to say here express. We all know that in the React application to import any module we use import statement. Here inside the server.js file if you try to use import statement you will get an error message. Because in the React application import statement is the latest feature of ECMAScript 6. And inside this server.js, we don't have any tool to convert ES6 into standard JavaScript. So to import files inside this server, we are going to use the require statement. So you just need to first specify the require function. And inside that, you need to specify the module name. I'm going to use express module. So I'm going to specify here express and specify that module to this express variable. So I'm going to have that module inside this express variable. Just down here, I'm going to say here constant and create my app instance. So I'm going to say here app is equal to call the express variable and pass parenthesis. So this statement will create an instance of the express application. Now just for that, just down here, I'm going to create a constant variable port is equal to and then specify value to it 3000. I want to start my backend server. So I'm going to specify here port 3000. Now just for that, we're going to make the get request. So here I'm going to call a command and say get request. Just down here, I'm going to say app.get and inside the parenthesis in the single code, I'm going to specify the forward slash. This refers to the root route and then specify here comma and then specify here request add response parameter and call a function here, a callback function. So when we get any request to this route, we're going to execute this callback function. So for example, if you start this development server and you head on to this route path, this will execute this handler function. Inside this get method right here, I'm going to simply say response.send and in the parenthesis, I'm going to say express server. So when we head on to this route path, I'm going to send the response express server. Just down here, I'm going to just say here app and I want to listen this app on port 3000. So I'm going to say here app.listen. I'm going to call a method of express application, which is listen. This method is going to take the callback function as a parameter. So we need to first pass here a port name. So I'm going to say here 
port as you know we already have this port variable at the top i'm going to use that here and as a second parameter i'm going to pass the callback function so i'm going to just specify i want to start the server on port 3000 and i want to display some message when the server is started so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pass here callback function so in the parenthesis right here i'm going to pass as a second argument a callback function inside this callback function i'm going to say console.log and in this console.log i'm going to use backtick operator and say server running on port and i'm going to just say here dollar in the curly braces i'm going to print my port variable so that will just print server running on port 3000 and now i want to execute this file using node now to do that you need to first back to the package.json and here you need to create a start command we already have a test command here if you want you can remove this statement from here i'm going to leave this as it is and specify here comma and here i'm going to create my start command so in the double quote i'm going to say here start and i'm going to create here a start command so i'm going to use my nodemon module so i'm going to say here nodemon as you know nodemon is going to help us to restart the server whenever we make any changes inside server.js file so i'm going to say here nodemon and then specify the file name server.js let me save this file close it back to the server.js save this file and open my terminal and here i'm going to just simply specify npm start using this statement i'm going to execute my start command you can notice here in the start command we have nodemon server.js i'm going to execute this command using this statement when i press enter it will execute this command and i'm going to have here a message server running on port 3000 so let me open my browser and here inside my browser in the url i'm going to say http colon double forward slash and then i'm going to say localhost 3000 as you can notice i'm going to have here a message express server so you can notice here our backend server is successfully created now let me just make some changes inside this server.js file we just use here port variable to show the running status now what i'm going to do is i'm going to just specify here an address so instead of just port i'm going to specify here http colon forward slash localhost colon and then specify the port name now let me just open my terminal and show you what will happen when i save the changes when i save the changes you can notice i'm going to have the address of my backend server so when i click on this link it will automatically open a new tab in your default browser and you will get your development server you're not limited to only create get request in the express if you want you can create post put and delete request as well in express the post request is something look like this we use the app variable the instance of the express application and then call the post method this post method is going to create the post request to this route and this is going to execute this handler function now here you can notice we just use a simple function as a callback function when you call any http methods in express you need to pass two parameters to it request and response using request parameter you can get the requested value and using response parameter you can send the response to the user don't worry i'm going to show you the use of both these parameters in the future lectures just after that we have put request put request is something look like this we just have the app instance and then we call the put method and then we have the delete http method this is something look like this so these are some commonly used http request in express i'm going to show you how you can use all these methods in the react application in the future lectures but just for now let's understand how to connect the mongodb database to the backend server